Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen is hosting German lawmakers who are visiting the island for the first time since the pandemic. They discuss security across the Taiwan Strait, as well as concerns about the Ukraine war and the current situation in Europe. Well, the trip coincides with Germany's National Day. Ms. Tsai offered her well wishes to the delegation and expressed gratitude to Berlin for speaking out when China conducted military drills near Taiwan. Wir haben auch im Deutschen Bundestag ähm, zu verschiedenen Anlässen deutlich gemacht, in aktuellen Stunden, in Debatten, äh, dass wir es für nicht akzeptabel halten, äh, wenn Sie auch äh, von einem Nachbarn bedroht werden ähm, mit äh, militärischer Gewalt ähm, äh, in, in ein nicht gewollte ähm, Zusammenarbeit gezwängt zu werden. Und ähm, da ist der Deutsche Bundestag auch sehr eindeutig gewesen in der Ablehnung. Meanwhile, Taiwan is aiming for a bigger voice on the international stage and is using television to help get its message out. It has launched its first English-language TV channel, Taiwan Plus. President Tsai Ing-wen says the launch of the 24-hour channel will raise the international profile of the self-ruled island and help forge closer ties with countries that share core values of freedom and democracy. It will cover news, lifestyle and entertainment. Analysts observe that China is increasingly active in English-language media, conveying its narrative that Taiwan is part of China to outside audiences. Now, Taiwan is seeking to rebut that point of view. Taiwan Plus is currently only available locally, but the government says there are plans for a U.S. launch in the next six months.